Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take a cool stop action photograph of a ball falling into water using the same sound triggered flash circuit that I showed you how to build in an earlier video. I'll start off by going through the components here. Here's the, uh, the microphone preamp that I talked about before. Here's the actual flash trigger that I built last time. Here's the actual flash itself that's hooked up to it. And over here, this is the microphone that's going to do the listening. Now, for this particular setup, it always helps to have the ball drop into the same exact spot every time. That's so that this camera here can get a good, uh, sharp focus on it. Uh, the way I'm doing that is I built a little electromagnet here out of a screw, and that's going to hold the steel ball up until. I turn it off with this power supply and I'll show you how that works right here. Just turn on the power supply and I'll take the ball and this is a uh, regular mouse ball. Uh, it's got a, it's a steel ball inside and it's got a slight rubber coating on it. And I can just stick that right on the magnet and it will drop it as soon as I turn off the switch here. And that's pretty much it. The sound of the ball impacting the glass below the water here will actually trigger the flash and will stop it at exactly the right moment. For the actual photography setup, uh, you can use whatever you like. This is basically a, a macro lens that I've set up. I've got a black piece of matte board here to act as a backdrop so that when you look through the lens you don't see any kind of the reflection of all the, uh, the junk behind it. All you get is a nice clean black image. And, uh, and with the ball in the middle of it. So I'll go ahead and walk you through some of the parameters. Okay, one of the first parameters you'll need to set is the sensitivity of the microphone. Now, as I mentioned before in the previous video, I have a preamp to control my microphone sensitivity. Um, and I can dial that way up to the point it's very sensitive. Actually, it can be too sensitive. Right now, I've got it dialed up way too high so that even the sound of the camera shutter activating will trigger the flash. See, that's no good. Um, we want it to trigger only when the ball falls. In addition, if it's too sensitive, if the ball bounces at all, uh, it'll trigger the flash multiple times, and that's no good either. So we're going to dial this back to the point where the, the flash no longer triggers it, but the, the ball falling does. Okay, it looks like I got just one flash that time. That's pretty much what I want. Okay, the next set of parameters are purely photographic. I'm going to put the ball in a static location here so that I can actually focus my camera on it. And I'm going to set the flash to a default one quarter power. And I'm going to try this at a high f-stop as I can get away with. I'll go with f32. And we'll see how that comes out. So all I have to do is trigger the camera. And then clap my hands. And then I get an image. That, uh, that looks about right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually set this up. Okay, I'm going to turn off any ambient light. I'm going to have the shutter open for about four seconds, and then I'm going to release the ball. There we go. So you can see I got a pretty clean image. However, if you zoom in on some of the details, you'll notice that the droplets of water are a little bit blurred. And that's because this flash was on for too long, and that's controlled by the flash power. So this particular flash was set at one quarter power, so I'm going to dial this down to as low power as this flash allows, which is 1 64th. And what that will do is that will set the flash duration as short as possible, and it gives me the best chance of actually freezing some of these water drops midair. So now I'm going to reset and try for another shot with the new power setting. I'll clean the lens, turn on the electromagnet, turn off the lights in the room, and now I'm going to compensate a little bit for the decreased light. I'm going to open up the aperture to f16, bump my ISO to 1600, and we're ready to rock. Shutter open for four seconds and releasing. Okay, got a pretty good result that time. And if you zoom in on the water drops, you can see they're much more crisp. 
So you can continue playing around with the different photography settings, but this is the basic setup. You can do all sorts of fun things, uh, smashing hammers into light bulbs, popping balloons, pretty much anything that makes any kind of loud noise can be frozen in time with this method.